I'm not trying to offend anyone with my first statements of this. It's just the best way to start out this episode. This time of year, a lot of people celebrate the birth of a man named Jesus who was known to have died, stayed dead for three days, and then was resurrected. And on top of this, Jesus was also known to have taken a man named Lazarus who had been dead for four days and resurrected him. But is this something that can really happen? A miracle or a medical mystery? Let's discuss on today's Peculiar Occurrences. A 27-year-old man from the UK collapsed after an overdose of heroin and cocaine. Paramedics gave him an injection and he recovered enough to walk to the ambulance. He went into cardiac arrest in transit. After 25 minutes of resuscitation efforts, the man was verbally pronounced dead. Then about a minute after resuscitation had stopped, a nurse noted some sort of rhythmic heartbeat on the heart monitor, so they resumed trying to bring him back. The man ended up making a full recovery. A 66-year-old man suffering from a suspected abdominal aneurysm suffered cardiac arrest and received received chest compressions and shocks to his chest for about 17 minutes. His vital signs did not return, so resuscitation efforts stopped. Then 10 minutes later, the surgeon felt a heartbeat. They continued to try to revive the man, and they treated him for his aneurysm, and he made a full recovery. Then there was a 65-year-old deaf Japanese male who lived in a foster home. He was found unconscious on the floor and was given CPR by home residents. Then he was also given CPR by the paramedics and then by people in the emergency room. He was declared dead after all efforts had failed. However, a policeman found him moving around in the mortuary about 20 minutes after he was declared dead. The man lived for about four more days and then passed away. Judith Johnson, 61, went into cardiac arrest at BB Hospital in Lewis, Delaware in May of 2007. She was given multiple medicines and synchronized shots but never regained a pulse. She was declared dead at 8.34 p.m. but later was discovered in the morgue alive and breathing. Later, she sued the hospital for damages in physical and neurological responses. A 45-year-old woman in Colombia was pronounced dead as there was no vital signs showing that she was alive. Then later, a funeral worker noticed that she was moving around and told his co-worker she should probably go back to the hospital. That would be freaky. That would be like my biggest fear of... of... Um, being a funeral worker, that or that or fetal exclusion. If you don't know what that is, I've got another episode on it. Way earlier episode. Go check it out. A 65 year old man in Malaysia ended up coming back to life two and a half hours after doctors had pronounced him dead. He ended up dying just three weeks later. Anthony Yall, 37, in Bellbrook, Ohio, was breathing abnormally at 4 a.m. on August 5, 2013. And no matter what, he could not be woken up. After finding that he had no pulse, emergency workers, paramedics, were able to give him CPR and revive him enough to take him to the hospital. Later that afternoon, he was pronounced dead after all efforts to resuscitate him had failed. And when his son showed up to the hospital to see his supposedly dead father, the son noticed a 
heartbeat on the monitor that was still attached to his father. Resuscitation efforts were resumed and Yall was successfully revived. Walter William, 78, from Lexington, was at home when his hospice nurse called in a doctor to pronounce him dead. At 9 p.m. on February 26, 2014, once at the funeral home, he was found to be moving around. It was thought that perhaps he may have been revived by a defibrillator that was implanted into his chest. The next day, he was well enough to be taken home with family, but unfortunately, he ended up dying just 15 days later. I could literally go on and on and on with stories of people that have died and been brought back. Even one of a man who had died for, who had died and stayed dead for about three days, had his blood removed, and then when his son came to identify him, he noticed his hand moving. The son runs out of the room, and so does the rest of the staff, terrified. And uh, when they walk back in, he's sitting up on the bed. So they immediately start working on this man. He was actually able to go home within a couple of days. These stories have been going on for so long. They're even thought to have been what started the myths about vampires. Even people like George Washington had a fear of dying but not really being dead and being buried alive. A lot of people back in that day would actually express before their death that they wanted hose to be put in the coffin so that they would be able to breathe if they were to come back to life. This was actually something that was requested by a cousin of George Washington's. Doctors call this Lazarus Syndrome. That's the medical term for it. The Lazarus Phenomenon, or Lazarus Syndrome, is described as a delayed return of spontaneous circulation, or ROSC, which is what I'll be calling it in this. But a delayed return of spontaneous circulation after CPR has ceased to happen on the patient. Or in other words, patients that are pronounced dead after cardiac arrest and then have a sudden return of cardiac activity. The syndrome is named after Lazarus of Bethany, which according to the Bible had been dead for four days when Jesus of Nazareth brought him back to life. If you believe in that sort of thing. Not my personal religion, but that's what it's named after. Since 1982, when the Lazarus Syndrome was first featured in any kind of medical articles, there has been at least 38 cases reported. According to a 2007 report, in about 82% of Lazarus Syndrome cases, ROSC occurred within 10 minutes after CPR had stopped and about 45% of patients experience good neurological recovery. But while the low number of reports of this syndrome happening may suggest that it's very rare, a lot of doctors think it's a lot more common than studies suggest. The Lazarus phenomenon is a grossly unreported phenomenon. The reason for this is when someone has died, been pronounced dead, and come back to life, as in the Lazarus Syndrome, this can bring the attending doctor's expertise into question and even cause arguments among colleagues. What exactly causes the Lazarus phenomenon isn't known, but there is a few theories. Some researchers suggest that Lazarus Syndrome may be caused by pressure built up in the chest during CPR. And once CPR is stopped, this gradual release may be kick-starting the heart back into action. Another theory is the delayed reaction of medication giving in resuscitation efforts, such as Adderline. They believe that damaged veins and arteries could be keeping this medication from getting to the heart properly. 
and after death the veins start to swell and open up allowing the medicine to move through and get to where it needs to go successfully restarting the heart and causing them to breathe again another theory is something called hyperkalemia whereby blood levels of potassium are too high this has actually been linked to ROSC in some way because so few cases of the of Lazarus syndrome is reported it makes it very hard to pinpoint exactly what it is that causes this to happen but perhaps it's not bringing a patient back to life in all cases perhaps in some cases they were never dead to begin with because in a clinical setting the declaration of death isn't just so as black and white as one may think in 2014, there was a story that came out about a woman who had been frozen alive in a morgue after being wrongly pronounced dead. In the same year, in a New York hospital, a woman was pronounced brain dead after she overdosed. And then the woman reawoke shortly after being taken to a surgery room to have her organs harvested. In cases such as these makes you ask the question, how is it even possible to be mistaken about declaring someone dead? There are two kinds of death, clinical death and biological death. Clinical death is defined as the absence of a pulse, heartbeat, and breathing. While biological death is defined as the absence of brain activity. And looking at these definitions, you might assume that it would be very easy to tell when someone is dead. But in all cases, that's not always true. One such condition is hypothermia, where the body experiences a quick drop in body temperature, normally caused by a prolonged exposure to the cold. Hypothermia can actually cause the breathing and heart to slow to a point where it's almost impossible to detect the rhythm of the heart or the breathing. It is believed that hypothermia may have led to the mistaken death of a newborn baby in Canada in 2013. The baby in question was born on a sidewalk in freezing cold temperatures. Doctors were unable to detect a pulse and the baby was declared dead. Then two hours later, the baby started moving. Doctors said that the baby's exposure to such code conditions may explain what happened and that even though the baby's entire circulation system may have even stopped, that the baby's brain and neurological activity was actually protected by the code weather. Just as we learn in our cryogenics episode. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Some other conditions that can make a doctor think that you're dead is a condition called catalepsy and a condition called locked-in syndrome. Catalepsy is characterized by a trance-like state. Slowed breathing, reduced sensitivity, and complete immobility, which can last from minutes to weeks. And the condition could arise due to neurological disorders such as epilepsy or Parkinson's disease. And in lock-in syndrome, the patient is completely aware, completely awake, but cannot move their body whatsoever, except for a bit of fluttering of the eyes. This one terrifies me, like for real, like legit. This is like one of my biggest fears come true. In 2014, the Daily Mail reported about a 24-year-old British woman named Kate Allett who had locked-in syndrome. And unaware of her conditions, doctors pronounced her dead, and doctors and family members stood all around her bed discussing whether or not to pull her off life support. Meantime, the entire time, Kate could hear and understand everything they were saying, but she was completely helpless to let them know or to tell them in any way that she was still alive. Later on, Kate said that locked-in syndrome is like being buried alive and that you can see everything, you can hear everything, but you are completely unable to speak or communicate. And with that being said, the fact that any of these cases have even occurred has raised many questions about how to handle death in a clinical setting. 
Some researchers say that doctors should wait at least 10 minutes observing the body after CPR has stopped to see if any vital signs return because it is within this time period that ROSC is most likely to occur. But yet, when it comes to things like organ donation, they can't wait 10 minutes to make sure the person is dead because that makes the organs they're going to donate more likely to not be able to be used in other patients. And current guidelines say to wait at least two to five minutes after a person is seemingly is dead to actually call it because of the fact that the more time that goes by without blood flow going to the organs, the less likely it is that they can have even be used. And with this in mind, it's very unlikely that death protocols will be changed anytime soon. Although most healthcare professionals are in agreement that in this day and age, we pretty much have all the tools we need to declare whether or not uh, someone is dead. Although some of these cases I did notice were all the way up to like 2013. But that's what they're saying. So what do you think about this peculiar occurrence? Have you ever heard of Lazarus Syndrome? Let me know down below. And if so, what do you think about it? Have you ever known anybody that's gone through it? Let me know down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to check out my description box for your Peculiar Occurrence merch. We got some great stuff for you. As well, hit that like button. Don't forget to share this out to all your peculiar friends. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload. And until next time, keep your eyes peeled for all things peculiar. Do 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 Yeah Are you listening? Damn